Hello everyone, my name is Irina Engels and I'm choreographer and creative director and doctor formalist, a visual artist and architect. We've been collaborating for three years and our main approach, we connect dancing with digital art. And uh, this is what we do actually, yeah? As a choreographer and mover, I'm uh, fascinated by um, representing movement body in two worlds, in physical and in digital. Hi, yeah, and so we start from Irina's dance and then we use 3D software and AI to transform it into something different. Uh, sometimes we may even remove the body, sorry, and just keep the movement in order to represent movement in some other way, uh, to make it more expressive or to reveal the hidden beauty of the movement itself that sometimes you cannot see when you just look at the uh, normal dance performance. And so we're gonna show you how, how we do it. Um, our co collaboration is very, involves a lot of experiments. Uh, sometimes Irina would start with an idea for a choreography and sometimes I would start with a visual idea and we go back and forth and we build up together up to the point which looks something like these videos which we call failed experiments uh, because they're usually nice but they're not complete. They don't feel like a project itself. So we usually, when we get to this point, we usually abandon these for a while. We put them into what I call a creative vault, which is a big folder full of uh, half ideas that we never know when we can come back and use them again. So here's an example, an example of how that works. On the left um, is a video I did uh, three years ago. And it, it was actually a mistake. Uh, so I wanted to do uh, animation of a lot of hands, and I made a mistake, so it came out glitchy like this, but I liked it and forgot about it. And then two years later, I was looking at the video, and I was thinking, what if I try to do the same mistake that I did here, but instead of just animation of hands, I take the whole human body and introduce the same glitch. And I, I tried it. Uh, actually, I tried it with another dancer. Again, sorry, Irina that I was working with at the time, and it didn't really work. Then I tried with one of Irina's choreographies, and it really came alive. This is the video, the test that you see on the right side, which kind of emphasized the point that Irina said that the dancing for the digital art medium is not the same as dancing for the stage performance. And so let's follow this project from the beginning to the end. So here we see uh, Irina dancing, so we do motion capture of her movements so we can see her in 3D. And then I introduced that glitch, uh, the glitch from three years ago. And then we use uh, 3D software to uh, materialize that. And then we feed all of that into AI. And I think that this uh, very uh, specific and unique process that we have allow us to use AI, but to maintain complete creative control. So. By this process, uh, not only I can control completely the visuals, uh, but we can also take Irina's movements and represent them 100% faithfully in AI, which is something that otherwise is still pretty much impossible. And so let's see now uh, one of the final pieces. So this video was uh, one video in a collection of 25 pieces that last year uh, we minted on fellowship and we had a great success. Uh, the whole collection sold out in 24 hours. We had a lot of media exposure. We connected to a group of amazing investors. So it was amazing, but that was last year. And in the meantime, I think that both of us have evolved a lot as artists. So we also work hard to bring our collaboration to the next level. So now we're gonna show you some fresh new work and we're gonna start from a live performance. Hey, Irina. 
Why are you sitting like that? What kind of pose is this? Change it. Change it. No, that pose is not appropriate. Fix your posture, young girl. Sit on a chair with your back straight. Change it. Change it. Change it. You can't put your leg like that. Now that's better. Why are you sitting around? Go and do something. Finish your homework first. After that, you can dance. 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 All right, you can dance now. too big for ballet. Maybe try something else. You're not very flexible, huh? You're too tall and stiff. We don't have a partner for you. Too tall and stiff. Too tall and stiff. Is this the outfit you wanted to wear? It doesn't suit you, especially the colors. Your arms are too long for this sweater. Wear something normal. I'm too skinny to wear this. My clothes hang off me like I'm a hanger. I look like a scarecrow in these clothes. This is just so stupid. I'm never going to make this work. I'm so clumsy, I can't do anything without messing it up. I'm just too weird to have friends. I'm just not going to make it, so why even bother why trying? Even bother trying? Wow. Um, so actually now we're going to present you our new art collection, uh, the one that we think brings out collaborations to the next level. And it's a project called Wall Garden. And it's a collection of six video pieces that each combine dance, 3D, AI, and AI voice acting. And for us, it's a very personal project because each one of these videos is autobiographical and represent a constant struggle against self-doubt and limitations that other people impose on us, and worse, the limitations that we put on ourselves. So the performance that you just seen is a genesis piece for this new project, and we now gonna show you uh, one, more, one more piece from the new collection. You had potential, but you've squandered it all. A waste. You were supposed to be someone by now. But you're
you're just another nobody. Pathetic. 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 You're such a disappointment. Such a disappointment. You're drowning in self pity instead of taking control of your life. Yeah, so it's first time we show you our first uh, artwork from this collection and we are so grateful for you, dear audience, and we feel your energy. And also want to say this is the first time ever when Web3 event invite dance performance art on the main stage. And this is such an honor for me. And I want to say huge thanks to Grida and to John to make it happen, because Web3 needs more uh, physicality, as you see, probably. <laughs> so thank you so much again. And here you can see our QR code. Please go and get inspiration from our art, dancing, and uh, reflect on these questions. Thank you so much. And also bye, yes, of course. Thank you so much for being with us, and have a nice evening. Thank you. Have fun.